Good afternoon, we are STB and we are here to present a potential educational platform in the science field. As you know, the COVID-19 pandemic has changed education forever. Geospatial technologies are changing geography education and dirt observation is important in science field and education. Our solution is LeoWorks 4, which is a platform with the latest features and with an educational purpose. As distributors, our main goal is to deliver it to developed countries, which invest a lot in earth observation technologies with the aim of solving global challenges. The overall expected costs are around 120,000 euros. To enter in the market, build our product and develop strong communication channels with our consumers. Thank you. As COVID-19 has changed education forever, it becomes apparent that e-learning and e-tools are even more important nowadays. With that being said, uh, we found out that the e-learning market has grown to um, a size of 171 billion US dollars within the last year. Um, we find it really important to demonstrate this number as we want to um, emphasize the relevance of e-learning tools and data uh, processing within the educational environment and that's why it's important to even enhance the interest and um, activity in earth observation even more. To jump right into it, we started off with the problem definition, where we found out that uh, Earth observation is a really important tool in science and education. It not only raises awareness of its relevance in our daily life, but it can also transfer remote sensing data into class, which contributes positively to all activities. The value proposition uh, states that STB aims to emphasize the importance of Earth observation within the educational environment, and it gives first-hand access to transferring data from satellite, which makes it visible to all of us. STB is a service provider to help to demonstrate Earth observation within the educational system. We are part of the European Space Agency that tries to enhance, analyze and monitor data and information regarding to geography and Earth observation within the educational area. With our latest version, we can even give first-hand access to GIS and SR image processing. The mission is to provide a revolutionary service platform to everyone um, that, want, that aims to explore Earth observation data during their academic career and education. And our vision is to become thereby the leading service provider of Earth observation techniques and tools in educational systems. We promote our values as responsible, inclusive, committed and innovative. And our service is based on the distribution of LeoWorks 4, which is a program that relies on artificial intelligence and algorithm using Java as a software. The main features include geometric correction, pan sharpening and image classification. And with Earth observation services, more specifically remote sensing, we help uh, students boost their interest in science and education. Um, by incorporating it to the classroom, teachers can use it as an opportunity to make science learning interactive and more attractive. Um, we also um, established a video which shows our service in more detail. So if you want to know more about our product and our project, let's check out the video. We use Earth observation technology, which uses satellite to collect information about the land, oceans, ice and atmosphere. It is a continual and perpetual global monitor, which covers the globe again and again. Such information will be collected in our software to provide schools and institutions an innovative solution to pass from this 
to this, a very detailed and always updated information about geography where you can get also insights into geopolitical issues of different countries. It can be used at the universities as well to help students to understand more the problems about climate change and sustainability like deforestation or energy consumption and other issues. That's why STB is the right choice for your service. To show you how the data gets to the end user, we made a user scenario where we first collect data from satellite imagery. We then use uh, algorithm and artificial intelligence to further develop it. Um, next step, we also add Internet of Things to process it um, before we save it on blockchain and the cloud to um, finally develop it to a platform. Next step, we checked if we could align our service with certain rules and regulations. Um, first of all, we wanted to look in the, in the, into the SDG goals, um, where we found out that the SDG goal for quality education is aligned with our service, at, as we both ensure quality education in science and research and development within new technological tools. Um, next on the SDG goal 10, reduced inequalities, where we promote to reduce inequalities among developed and um, developing countries in education. And lastly, the SDG goal 17, partnerships for the goals, um, where we see that science um, is an important tool that we wanted to support um, to optimize the use of information in the geographical aspect. Next on the Paris Agreement, where we wanted to develop knowledge in order to minimize loss and damage. And we also wanted to promote the acquisition of knowledge that allows the building of resilience and reduce vulnerability. As a third point, we also looked at the European Green Deal where well, we managed um, to evaluate that Leo works for is a tool for research and education um, projects that solve global environment issues achieving neutral impact until 2050. Um, we also address it in school which will increase the quality of education and we also rely on the innovation principle in the policy making cycle. So first we set an agenda, second we check the legislation and third we do the implementation. Being at the initial stage of our startup, but we identify a has potential target each educational institution that can be targeted. For instance, we are not ready yet to make distinction between level of education. As a reaction, we will initially target mid the school, high school and university since our software can be implemented in every stage. Moreover, we also intention to target governments as for them the education level and system of their country is one of the priorities. In that sense, national governments can be seen not only as a target for sales, but also has potential partners. Finally, also research institutions are going to be a potential customers. Obviously, only those on which EO and better perception of the world structure are needed. In thermal of context and uh, background, Earth observation has been gaining increased importance in science education at high school and university level. It has sharpened the sensibility towards environmental issues and the willingness to learn its relevance in a day-to-day -day life condition. Students can have the opportunity to connect their personal observation to global perspective, making them able to gain techniques needed and interpret this data. Developed country invest in scientific literacy, which belong to key educational standards. Data from uh, Earth observation satellites has been used to monitor the environment, manage our natural research, comprehend variability and change, inform simulation forecasts, and provide help for humanitarian aid, including the management of natural and man-made emergency. As the technology continues to evolve at a rapid rate, with a great focus on artificial intelligence, as an instrument to take more and fast information from satellite images. 
In case of you of EU, we have seen some key trends happening lately, such as the European Commission has proposed a new European Union space program with an overall budget of 16 billion euros, and the European Space Agency Minister agreed an ambition budget of Earth observation of 2.5 billion euros. In this part, we are going to talk about external analysis, focusing on several key factors. Earth observation by remote sensing is relevant in science study to solve global challenges, such as overall climate changes, natural disaster, social spatial inequality, and so on. Geographers have a broader perspective than most environmental scientists. Their perspective allows them to come up with ideas that, and solutions that are better aligned with the way nature works. Finance universities are looking for the best technology to develop new theories that can change the world. Most universities use technological tools such as geographical information system, computer mapping, satellite imagery and the global position system. LeoWorks 4 has a lot of potential for this market, providing to top universities the latest and finance technology for their future investigation and research. Regarding the personal analysis about the political side, European political landscape is open and supportive of new technologies and EU service. Governments has been investing in EU services to prevent environmental problems and to find new technologies-based solutions to generate future values. About the economic side, there has been grant programs that support geographical research, especially in UK, with over £91,000 for 32 research projects. EU institution has issued contracts to buy in service and products for organization and university. And also EU from 2014 to and 2020 has provided 80 billion euros in funding for research and development. For the social side, sustainability has gained an increased importance for uh, organizations, governments and people. A new technology has been embraced to find new solutions for the actual environment challenges. About the technological, increased importance of, of satellite imagery for designing new strategies and solve problems. Availability for different technologies regarding a specific topic topic in this case could be about monitoring all reservation, um, environmental impact on road construction and so on. And about environmental, uh, new research and investigation study can help in specific cause, causes such as glo uh, global climate change, passive extinction, sea level, deforestation and so on. And finally, about the legal side, there has been an increased legis legislation towards environmental protection of key ecosystems. About the towers analysis, to better understand our internal operation structure and the external environment, we have developed a towers analysis. First, we have conducted a SWOT analysis in which we have identified our strength, like our strong product development and our inter international and dedicated team. And our weakness has, for instance, our software complexity. complexity. Then, our opportunities given by developing countries and a potential exponential growth. And lastly, our threats. Uh, such as competitor, high investment, and old traditionalism. Uh, with that in mind, we have developed our maximum access strategy, where we want to use our strengths to expand as much as possible and satisfy students and teachers with our service. Secondly, for the mini maxis strategy, we want to recruit more expertise. Uh, expertise to improve our service and convince potential investor of our potential and simplify final implementation. implementation. Regarding the maxi mini strategy, we use our strength to differentiate from uh, our competitors, find key areas where investment are most needed and finally improve their um, the software to prevent cyber attacks. 
And in conclusion, the mini-mini strategy, we would like to reduce the complexity of the service, find more funds to achieve a financial stability, which could be used to hire data analysts, analyst and uh, other fundamental elements that will cover our main legs. Finally, we have the Port of Five Forces analysis. After several research and uh, analysis, uh, analysis, we conclude that uh, the strength of sub, uh, suppliers are, and the buyers is quite high, together with the industry reliably. On the other hand, the three from the introduction and substitute product can be defined as medium as well as the threat of new entrants. About the power of suppliers uh, has been identified as high because there are several data suppliers and these suppliers hold a very important position in the, in the existing market. Furthermore, the service is mainly based on data and therefore without data, the service with high resolution image can be guaranteed. About the power of buyer, this is high uh, as well because since there are several companies providing the data, buyers can choose which company to get information from, as it is possible to find similar service offered by different companies. And secondly, being a service that uses recent technology, it is essential uh, to have a basic knowledge and skills to be able to use it. And finally, industry revivably is high as well, because of course, if you have um, um, if you have competitor uh, that can offer the similar service, the revival is high. And about the threat of substitution, or substitution, substitution sorry, uh, I said that is medium. Uh, that is medium. Um, as on one hand, you can find uh, terrestrial image easily on the internet and through drones. But on the other hand, you can only get high resolution image if you have the data. And finally, we have the threat of new entry. It is possible that there will be new companies entering this market sector as it had developing market with many new opportunities. But it must be remember, remember it that it is, it is expensive to own the data. In terms of main competitors, we have found seven direct competitors and one indirect competitor represented by Google Lead Trips that use Google Earth to create immersive 3D literary field trips. But this is a tool more for Killing Garden. Um, about the direct competitor, we have Earth Online. Earth Online is a database platform which provides direct and simple access to ESA Earth observation data and information related to satellites and hard drone and ground aircraft mission. It also offers training course and workshop. About Copernicus, Copernicus is the European Union Earth Observation Program, coordinated and managed by the European Commission, and also Copernicus is focused on, uh, on the training and the workshop. Learn EO uh, is a herd observation education resource for school. Its aim is to um, increase the understanding of satellite data from ESA missions and show how this can be used uh, to tackle environmental problems in the real world. This project will develop hands-on training research for use primarily by teachers and students at upper high school to university level. Um, ESA, ESA, the European Space Agency, Agency, is Europe's gateway to space. Its mission is to shape the develop the develop development sorry of Europe's space capability, and ensure that investment in space continue to deliver benefits to the citizens of Europe and the world. And also, they have program focus on education. Uh, in fact, they launched five school projects and um, new teacher training opportunities. Uh, eo for hedu uh, will develop research and provide training for teachers, um, enable them to develop lessons within existing curricula that involve uh, all the components of this project. 
Hazri. Hazri is one of the most in, uh, important competitors that we have, as we, we will see in the competitors' analysis. This is an international software of geography information system software. Um, actually, uh, this platform has a program called GIS, Focus on Student, which comes with everything they need to map like a professional. And finally, we have Earth of Blocks. This website is an online tool to help train the next generation of Earth observation and climate change specialists. So, is available online uh, so that students can work with satellite data, data from their homes. In terms of uh, analysis, we analyze the competitors in the market and we have carried out two types of analysis. One using the positioning map and the other one using a table with all the filters and criteria that we choose. With the positioning map, we analyze the various competitors using two dimensions in order to education, which are accessibility and educational program. After several research uh, on our competitor's website, we have come to the conclusion that using these two indexes, our main competitors on uh, the market are EarthOnline, Esri Education and u 4 edu About Esri's education, um, is in the first position because he has um, he is a service especially for educational program and offers several interactive maps for different type of study and also provides 3D image and data. Uh, EarthOnline um, is, is a site that offers various tools to analyze the data need, needed and also organize event and workshop related to training. And finally, about u 4 edu is an Erasmus project, so it is an inner to, to educational program. And uh, at the same time, is, it is easy, it is really easily accessible and provide mobile apps. Talking about a table analysis, we decided to use several indices in order to have more detailed analysis of our competitors and to understand more who was the main one. We chose a filter to use, such as interactive maps, pricing model, how the technology used, global coverage and adaptation to level. And in the table, we did not only um, compare competitors, but also our service with others. So um, we can see how our service was better uh, than our competitors. As we can be seen, our service is the only one that is characterized by elasticity, which means that it's easily ad adaptable to any practice. After analysis, once again, has reduced education is one of our main competitors, along with Copernicus. In this topic, the KPIs and the respective reach metrics will be defined to assess the versus Sussex. Importantly, all goals were developed through a smart framework with the aim of ensuring that they are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-based. In fact, the group divided the 11 KPIs in, in uh, two large groups, which in turn were also divided into two subgroups. The first large group is related to the team's ambitions during the development of the process, and the second large group is related to the startup's performance goals, both short and long terms. On one hand, in order to generate ideas and solutions, we considered the 193 countries of the United Nations, since at this stage, all of them show it to be potential up for the implementation of the service developed by the present startup. On the other hand, in order to generate criteria and filters, we just use the 635 method because it's simple, intuitive and structured. In this way, we are able to generate a considerable number of filters and with better quality. So, through the method presented and the collection of secondary data, we generated 51 filters, which, as we can see, were divided into five categories. It is important to highlight that we have given more emphasis to the social and the economical aspects, as they have an important role in the development of this project.
Firstly, in order to induce ideas and solutions, we continue to consider all the 193 countries of the United Nations. As in the next phase, 3B, they were reduced by the number of filters generated. In order to fit the solution that fits better the problem. Furthermore, in this way, we prevented the predefinition of ideas which could influence the whole process. Secondly, for the purpose of selecting criteria and filters, on one hand, we choose to develop the poker method, as in this way, we can understand how each filter can bring value for the process, as we can see in the image present. And on the other hand, we contacted some stakeholders in order to ask for their insight at this moment of decision. Thus, through the inputs of these entities, nine filters were added to the filters selected by the poker method. It is important to highlight that we contact entities of different type of stakeholders. For example, at the education level, we contact the Department of Geography of Nova Faculdad Ciencias Sociais e Humanas. At the government level, we contact the Ministerio de Administración Interna Portugués. And at, at the research level, we contact Associação de Geógrafos Portugueses. Thus, through the poker method, information collected by secondary data and insights received by the six answers, we decided to maintain 18 filters, it is 13 at the global level and 5 at the local level. Firstly, by applying the 13 global filters into the 193 countries of the United Nations, we reached two countries that met all the requirements, the Netherlands and Sweden. Between these two, we decided to select the Netherlands as it has the large population and the percentage of urban population is also much higher, which logically will be the ones that will make the greater use of the platform under study. Secondly, at the local level, the same process was carried out by applying the five local filters into 12 Dutch regions. Here, only the Sweet Holland region fulfilled all the requirements. And with this, we decided to select the city of Delft, as it is the only city in this region that has an university that offers a geography course, which is super important for this project, as one part of the targets are universities and students. Problem and solution. Even though Netherlands is known for its very valuable education system, it is still considered behind the four strongest countries in this sector, which are USA, uh, UK, Germany and Austria. It is important to keep in mind the size of the country, meaning that Netherlands is not competing uh, directly with USA due to its dominance. However, it should be much closer at least to Germany and Austria. One of the main reasons uh, why it is still behind may be because the country is still following uh, in regards to primary and secondary schools, a very strict and traditional system, which has not evolved much over. This lack of adaptation might lead new generations of the country to be less prepared um, to a more mutable and disruptive world. Considering the collaborative, international and practical culture that characterizes Netherlands education, we believe that Leo Works 4 would fit perfectly with their teaching methods. Additionally, the government spends a lot on education and that leads to very low tuition fees for students and their families. University fees range from 1,800 to 4,000 for European Union students. As explained before, we are more than interested to make government partners and supporters for, of our mission. Consequently, uh, looking at how crucial is education for the country, we are sure that Netherlands government is the perfect candidate for a cooperation which would bring an additional step uh, towards a fully innovative technological and interactive education system. In conclusion, another point that must be um, considered is that our product, as it is for now, is only available in English. This will not be a problem for Dutch students as most of the population is bilingual and perfectly speaks English, around 92%. Similar businesses, with STB trying to provide its service in the market of Sweet Holland, uh, the following businesses, companies uh, similar to the group own product services could be identified. Orbitally, a company providing monitoring and inspection services, their intention is to offer an alternative to traditional aerial inspection methods based on helicopters in form of satellite observations. 
Space for Good has been founded under the European Space Agency a Business Incubation Center. Their core business includes remote sensing data analysis, geospatial analytics, and predictive and AI modeling. Dot Space Foundation is focusing on education, exploration, and creation by means of remote sensing technologies. It is a non-profit uh, foundation and therefore provides data uh, use on the space campus in Newark Beach. STV decided to do a radar matrix to compare main characteristics with these similar businesses. We compared follow the following characteristics, educational programs, live data, global coverage, uh, earth observation data analysis, interactive maps, and other services. STV compared to its similar businesses stands out in all characteristics besides other services due to our focus in delivering only educational services. Uh, the group decided to use an online tool to create a radar chart. Potential customers. The group provides remote sensing services to different organizations in order to generate value for its respective stakeholders. Considering its portfolio, the team found the following list as its relevant customer base. The group believes that its buyers will understand the value of our solution and team up uh, to pass it on the onto the end users. We have educational institutes such as Delft Primary School and Leiden University. We have government institutions, Ministry of Education, Culture and Science, and we have research centers, Center for Science and Technology Studies. Also, there are some others like new startups and museums, uh, which includes interactive museums, uh, prolocation, PET scan, and Ocre open clouds for research environments. STP analysis. Given the user scenario, there are three end user segments that can be targeted. Uh, universities, they look for the latest technologies to build excellent research paper and have higher economic power. Second, government. Governments look for new earth observation technologies but are more price sensitive due to the multiple offers in the market. Individual end user. The platform can also be assessed by individual users that want to explore geographical content. STB focus on targeting the following earth observation and user segments, uh, universities as primary market uh, and governments as secondary market. Some reasons are related to the fact that universities are an attractive and powerful market. Uh, universities in the Netherlands are at best positions in international ranking and want to focus on getting better in earth observation services. They are economically strong, which means huge purchasing power, and act as a mediator between technology and end user. Uh, also, they can uh, help develop strong communication channels between uh, universities inside and outside the Netherlands. And uh, we can gain recognition through academic papers. In terms of positioning, as the distributors of the World for in the Netherlands market, which is internationally recognized for its high quality level of education, the works for is positioned as a flexible platform. That can uh, that has an easy interface interaction and end user in both softwares, Microsoft and Mac OS X. This geographical learning platform will help to do detailed analysis and research for academic papers, which can be a power, uh, powerful communication channel for our earth observation service. The team decided to focus on university as a primary target market since it has high resources and will benefit STB in terms of firm revenues and communication. In terms of concept, uh, first, STB service, a distributors of an educational geographical platform, Lyrics Form, specialize in earth observation imagery with specific and scientific information that helps doing research and solve environmental issues. Each member will be registered with their email and personal legal information there will be two options, as collective member or individual. The second uh, is about promotion of STB, and it will have its online website and a mobile application in order to promote our service with detailed information about the Works 4, subscription, subscription plans, client feedback, and online payment, uh, all with an easy interface. The third one is downloading system. The online website will be prepared with a download option after the payment uh, for Mac OS uh, and Microsoft. All users can deliver their feedback, uh, which will be collected constantly by STB and sent to the product owners of the awards form.
in order to better the earth observation project with specific client needs. Fourth, partnerships. With universities, all research and academic paper must include one paragraph about the contribution of STB and the works for platform and should be available for STB for future contribution for agencies and governments. Also, partnering with government and um, European Union Space Agency, SCB will close some contracts in order to get access to subsidies regarding Earth observation data and research papers uh, collections. So here we have the concept and the price model. We have two subscription plans, which is a standard sub subscription with 200 euros and the premium subscription, which is 400 euros. Regarding the standard subscription, we have a trial period included. We have direct customer support also included. Uh, we don't have customizable interactive maps uh, and we don't have data download via PDF and Excel. Also, it will include data and training related conferences, and it won't include work platform and more users for one account. Uh, and regarding to the premium sub subscription plan, it will include all these characteristics. And moving on to the Marty Mix, in terms of product and service, STB is a distributor of LeoWorks 4, which is a platform of earth observation data and based on IE and algorithm uh, using Java as a software. It is a service for educational purpose, uh, providing data about earth observation to learn more about geography and useful for scientific studies with interactive tools, including up-to-date information. About the place and access, our target market is in Netherlands and more precisely in the province of New Zealand, Delft. Our service can be used through the website and application, which will be supported by a contact service. In terms of processes, the process is focused on providing the most up-to-date geographical knowledge, and for this, data will be constantly updated uh, and accessible to all users. Data analysts is essential in this type of service to improve our platform, because it is necessary to constantly, continuously innovate and invest in uh, technology. In regard to promotion, the promotion of the service is carried out with different criteria. One of the criteria refers to social media as it is one of the most important tools for campaigning. Um, in order to make the service uh, as widely known as possible, it is essential to be present on social networks such as Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Uh, we can do publications of videos about the service and conferences correlated uh, to earth observation. As a solution regarding promotion includes being present and also organizing conferences and webinars in order to get to know uh, possible customers and uh, partners to expand the market. Finally, uh, the last method is emails that are sent to our customer to create a more direct relationship. In terms of physical evidence, the service is characterized by accessibility with a universal language, which is English, uh, is easy to use with previous knowledge in earth observation platforms to make uh, customers more comfortable. The service offers an online simulator to understand the basic steps. Regarding to price, as a service is aimed for universities, governments and research institutions, it does not have a long trial period. With only one week, uh, users can choose between uh, two different subscriptions, a standard subscri subscription, which is to 1,000 euros annual, uh, with limited uh, actions, and a premium subscription with 400 euros annual, which is complete and more interactive. The difference between the two subscriptions can be seen through uh, the following services, direct customer support, customizable interaction maps, data download via Excel and PDF, uh, and work platform. Uh, last but not least, people. Uh, the team is characterized by different people specialized in different sectors in order to offer a complete service. The employee are specialized in HR, finance, sales and marketing, um, customer support, administration, engineering and IT analysts. So regarding the prototype, uh, we did our initial port prototype based on a benchmark uh, with the usage of earth observation with the purpose of analyzing and distributing data to entities 
with different purposes, such as education, architecture, transport, and among other services. GIS offers mapping and spatial analysis, enhances learning in schools and aid administrators. Uh, ARC uh, GIS, uh, GAIS online supports rich lessons and projects, even in disruptions. Teachers and, uh, and parents can help kids learn on any connected devices. It also visualizes data from many sources to reveal patterns and relationship between people and places. Uh, connects uh, to scientific models and methodologies and inter interoperates uh, with other data science tools such as Python and R. And uh, it offers several mobile applications and softwares with different functionalities depending on the pack uh, purchase, but it always requires a paid mode. Uh, now we decided to do some modifications in our final prototype based on the be benchmarks, such as STV distribution and educational geographical platform, Leo works for spe specializing in earth observation imagery with scientific information that helps doing research and solve environmental issues. STB will offer training sessions. Uh, with the objective of familiarizing users, such as teachers, to use all features of the platform and to be able to respond to the needs of students in relation to the platform. Also, it will adapt uh, uh, their, the focus because the, the focus of STV is going to be uh, on university schools and governments as their main customers. Uh, furthermore, the company aims to develop partnership with university research papers and governments uh, and European Union Space Agency in order to get access to subsidies. Uh, SCB also offers paid mode. However, it allows uh, a slight operation in free mode uh, for both in the trial period. Uh, the combination is that uh, STB will offer a website to use in both softwares, Microsoft and Mac OS X and a mobile app available on iOS and Android. Thus, the online platform is mainly aimed at presenting analysis report and the app for monitoring live data. So here we have the website of the standard account. It will uh, have a login and username. It will have the assistance 24-7 and fax. Uh, the report will be technical data with interpretation and findings. Uh, then we have a presence of online ads. Uh, in order to have uh, some source of revenues for us. Uh, then we have the access to maps of all types, but standard maps without interactivity. And uh, we have a brief explanation of the concepts. Now, about the website with the premium account. Uh, we also have login and user information. We will have assistance 24-7, facts and chat. Uh, there will be a report of technical data with interpretations findings, recommendations, and key action points. Uh, also, the information about the current and past facts. Then we have the adaptation of the learning level, uh, unlimited uh, Earth observation image, interactive and editable uh, maps layers. The work platform will be a work simultaneously with several users and connect several devices to a single account and the possibility to save and download important notes and documents uh, in PDF and Excel. Uh, here we have the prototype of the application. Uh, it will also have the login and user information, the interactive map layers. Uh, it will have information about live data, possibility of searching for specific data, uh, possibility of saving specific data to review later, and a brief explanation of data presented. We have also conducted the 3M analysis to better understand where and how much investment are needed. Starting with manpower, STP is currently composed by five management students that are covering executive position. Given our similar backgrounds, we will need to hire a new personnel that will cover our legs, especially in the technology field. The first profile we are looking for is a data analyst who will be responsible for training sessions that will help consumers and potential partners to familiarize with our service. The level of theorem that we have planned for this job is medium. Secondly, to promote STP and increase awareness, we, have all, we are also interested in hiring a marketing manager that will be in charge of marketing and social media activities. 
Lastly, to increase our sales, we will hire a commercial manager that will deal with sales and customer relationship, having a high level of TRM and therefore working autonomy. However, we will prioritize budget based on priority and communicate it with him or her. Moving to minutes, we have analyzed what has been done so far, as you can see in the table, as well what we would like to do and achieve in, until the last quarter of 2022. For instance, we will keep con uh, conducting marketing research, contacting stakeholders to maintain our relationship and gain different perspectives, and every two quarters we will define new KPIs and check results. Moreover, in 2022, we will test the, pro the prototype and launch it according to results, and towards the end of the year, we will try to increase our sales team and, if needed, rewrite our business model, taking into consideration feedbacks and performance. Lastly, in regards of money, based on our studies, we will need around 120,000 euros. And such figures come from expenses given by the cost of funding the startup, like the website development, app development, and related fees, IT costs to improve our service, uh, including also labor costs and HR, and finally, marketing cost. In, uh, in this slide, we have also included a graph which shows how these costs are distributed. Um, and in order to increase our possibilities to receive money, um, we are planning to participate in incubator competitions like Innovation Credit Scheme, Seed Capital Scheme, and Origin Europe. And additionally, to convince possible investors, we will provide parts of our shares based of course on investment and uh, receive business model canvas uh, in which we want to show how our value proposition which is to provide a better service to learn the geography through data interactive maps of the herd will be delivered to our customer segment which will be divided into two primary with school institutions and secondary mainly with government and um, we we'll produce our revenue streams composed by still by two components um, as a standard subscription of 200 euros per year or a premium sub subscription of 400 euros per, per year. Another source of revenues will be dependent on um, our partnership and collaboration with other institutions or museum. Our stru cost structure will be composed by initial cost, operational cost and investment cost. Our channels, we would like them to be as diversified as possible. Our key resources are um, it's going to be our qualified personnel and investor willing to support our initial investment and herd observation satellites. The key activities will be based on um, reducing complexity and improve our service and key partners to conclude uh, um, our main source of information will be herd observation companies, of course. But then the main partners are going to be government, university, youth space agency, and research centers. And maybe uh, possible partners will be Interact Museum, Startups, Copernicus, and drone manufacturers. One of the very last parts of this presentation will be based on our KPIs evaluation. Overall, we achieved all the goals we had proposed. On one end, we just didn't receive a response from at least 10 stakeholders. That's why it's written in orange, because we only received six answers, but we contacted more than 10. On the other hand, the company's performance level, um, the goals cannot be calculated now, of course, as the startup has not been yet created and therefore is not operating. Thank you for your attention and feel free to ask any questions. What roadmap? Uh, first, funding and investments. Apply for previously identified funds. Innovation Credit Scheme, Horizon Europe, Europe, and Seed Capital Scheme. Furthermore, look to identify other possible forms of raising money to apply once the funds run out. Startups has high costs, uh, which makes it harder to raise money through other types of investors. Two, product development. Outsource a company to analyze target customers' preferences and develop our website and app in order to get product validation. The appropriate design and interface will be done with constant revisions from our data analysts in order to create a simple interface for user. Huge investments uh, with high risk of not being suitable for the customers due to difficult interface use and inappropriate consumer reach. Three, key partnerships customers. Contact potential partners and customers such as local authorities, universities and schools in order to gain insights and possible additions uh, to the platform. The, some partners can be competitors and there might be conflicts on interest and some challenges in creating loyalty programs due to our limited knowledge about Zwidowland. 
Uh, fourth, go to market. Start selling the final service on the market through sub subscription plans, standard and premium. Since it is, a, it is a new product, we can face some difficulties with it engaging customers and gain some market due to existing similar options. Uh, fifth is about expansion. Expand the startup services in a first phase for other regions of the Netherlands and in the second phase for other countries. Management and adaptation, uh, adaptation the entire process to different cultures and types of teaching, as well as complying with different legislations. Here we have some limitation STB may face. Our project may face some limitations during the implementation which we try to overcome by uh, respective uh, counteractions. One, contact limitations, a lack of information and knowledge of the environment, plus limitation in accessing relevant stakeholder and contacts might be present in the, net, in the Netherlands. By relying on experts from the industry and key earth observation services providers in the region of Zuidolan, we assume a better alliance to relevant stakeholders. Two, budget limitations, during our project, we might, uh, we might face limitations and channel challenges related to our budget and cost structure. Budget constraints may appear in every phase of the project. Thus, we need to react accordingly, accordingly to find a solution. We try to define our budget on a regular basis and use techniques such as budget uh, steering and planning to overcome any limitations. Three, time allocation. Time management is an important resource in terms of implementing our service. The time spent for the whole process needs to be therefore uh, defined properly by determining the time needed for each phase of the project implementation and by quickly reacting to any adaptation necessary. Uh, we try to get past possible limitations uh, and challenges. And uh, fourth, customer base. As our potential client base should be uh, located in the Netherlands, preferably in Zuidoland, we could face limitations in terms of customer by country region. SCB's intention is to provide service in Zuidoland. However, it should not be limited to a specific country and is therefore applicable to several uh, regions around the world. So here we have some key takeaways. Our project was a great opportunity to learn about earth observation and gain new soft skills. In each phase composed by the value creation wheel framework, KDM has efficiently developed our project by adding several inputs obtained during the length of the project. The flexible value creation wheel framework gave the opportunity for the team to, de to deliver any useful information anytime, allowing to build on a complete solution. Using KPIs helped maintain a constant control uh, over the project and work towards its outcome. And uh, last but not least, being in contact with many stakeholders gave us knowledge and robustness about the filters and criteria selected.